is code refactoring? So refactoring is taking code that already exists and changing it, but uh, altering the code itself to be more optimized, cleaner, easier to read, things like that, uh, but not changing functionality. Uh, you leave the functionality intact, you just change the quality of the code behind that. The intent is not to change the functionality. Uh, so, so we oftentimes, uh, we, when we talk about refactoring, we're talking about, um, you know, you have your adding functionality hat and you have your refactoring hat and you change back and forth. The two shouldn't mix. Yeah. You, you shouldn't be refactoring while you're adding functionality. You shouldn't be adding functionality while you're refactoring. Okay. So what are the advantages of doing this over some so, of So some of the, the big reasons to do it is mostly to optimize the code. We as developers spend about 70% of our time or more reading code. Mm -hmm. uh, the rest of our time is spent adding code. And again, there's no statistics for that number. It's just my ballpark because um, I, I know how much time I spend reading code if the code is not optimal. So we spend a lot more time reading than we do writing. Well, if the reading is, is made easier through, uh, through f proper formatting of code and organization and things like that, it means that we're able to spend more time or less time reading code and more time writing code. Uh, so that's the big, that's the big uh, benefit of it. And for businesses, it's amazing because then you're actually paying your developers for actually coding versus reading. And so it, it's a no-brainer. Yeah. So you're involved in PHP development, um, mm -hmm. and so how did you get involved in PHP and open source? Oh, so um, back in back in the late '90s, I was uh, I was working for a company. Uh, and my background is sales. Uh -huh. So as a salesman, I actually grew my uh, the Midwest region, and I became I worked my way up to become the regional manager of the Midwest region of a company. Um, as the regional manager. I created my own reports and to help manage my region. Well, no other managers were doing it at that point. So the, the company approached me, they said, how would you like to come to our corporate headquarters and do this for everybody? I, and of course I said, yeah, sure, you know, it's a promotion. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, so I, I took the promotion, I, I went to the corporate headquarters and I started creating these reports so everybody could do the same thing. I very quickly realized that I needed to automate that because it was labor intensive. So. I started automating it and started learning a little bit more about programming and I really grew to be passionate about it because I was optimizing, optimizing the process. So I took what was taking me a week and a half to do and I got it down to a couple of days using, uh, using OLAP services and things like that. Using At that point I was using Cold Fusion yeah. and, and Visual Basic and things like that. Um, and then uh, PHP was coming of age at that time. So I started using PHP and then I just kind of migrated to that and I've been doing PHP and open source technologies ever since. Wow, yeah. So PHP is coming up on 20 years, so mm -hmm. what, like, what types of new features of the language are you most excited about? Oh wow, I mean uh, PHP has, is going through a new renaissance right now because of the, with the introduction uh, with PHP 5.3 we had the introduction of namespacing and a lot of other features that have really made PHP easier to use for tools like Composer and implementing namespaces and auto-loading and things like that. So PHP is really kind of coming of its own. Um, and I've just seen it really grow. Uh, developers are starting to embrace the open or object-oriented in PHP, and, and it's just amazing to see the growth. So that's, that's the big thing is, is seeing that. And in my talk with refactoring, it's, it's one of my favorite talks, so I do talk about yeah. it a little bit. Um, so my talk refactoring kind of goes hand in hand with that because if it wasn't for object oriented, then I mean that's that's the basis of doing the refactoring is making the object oriented uh, design more optimal. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So um, the PHP community is pretty close knit, I think, and so mm -hmm. I know you, you're involved in different conferences and user groups. So can you tell me more about that? Yeah, so uh, I'm the organizer of the South Florida PHP user group. Uh, we have about 650-ish 600 members. Uh, we're going on our fourth year. Actually, we just passed our fourth year. Um, so, so we've grown quite well, uh, quite large in, in that small time period. Um, those folks who aren't in the, are in South Florida and not part of that, please come join us. Um, I'm also the organizer of the Sunshine PHP Conference, uh, which is a very nice conference, a community conference in South Florida held in February, which there's lots of worse places you can be in February than South Florida, right? Um, so, so 
We had 250 attendees last year, so it's a very good size for a community-based conference. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and I'm looking to see, we're not really looking to grow the size of the conference. We're looking to continue the, the, the quality of the conference okay. and, and getting names out there and keeping it relevant. Um, it's, it's one of the top conferences in the PHP community. Uh, I hear it on the tip of everybody's tongue as I'm going to conferences and stuff, and yeah. even before they know that I'm involved. <laughs> Terrific! I'm excited to see how it continues to grow, and you know, it sounds like you know there's a lot of great, great work coming out of mm -hmm. South Florida. So yeah, thank yeah, you for no joining doubt. me today. Thank you.